Right, okay, watch this. This is Jacob's video, right? So he's jumping out his window. That's my bedroom for one. Look what he does. Oops, sorry, man. Hello? I swear to God, if you've broke my fucking TV, <laughs> I will tie your dog to the middle of the road with a big rock. And it won't be Toby. Fuck Oscar, how's my TV? <laughs> TV's fine. Sorry, I'm all over that. Oh, shit. Right, so, did, so did I. I just saw it fall over too. I was like, that's expensive, that. Right, you bastard. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hi, cocaina. It's funny, my dad said to me this morning, he was just like, that guinea pig of yours, he's got a really fat belly. So now I feel like I might be feeding cocaina a little bit too much. So I'm gonna have to put him on a bit of a diet. As I said that, he just ran away. Anyway, so that was a nice little walk with the family doing our daily exercise. It's quite annoying. Yesterday I played a lot of Xbox and it really sort of distracted me and I just didn't do much yesterday and it really annoyed me how unproductive I was. So the aim was today is just to be a bit more productive, just a bit more lively, just to be a bit more involved with my family. While I got time, you know, spend time with them, that sort of thing as well. It's good to just chat with them good to speak to them and have a laugh really. Can you hear how noisy our birds are? Lydia. Rosie Russell, Jojo, Jack Bertie. Right, so hey guys, Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Now I've got to ask, and just be honest with me, okay? What do you think of the LA vlog? It was like half edited, so I finished it yesterday morning and I was like, yeah. Fuck it, let's see what it's like. And I missed a day of filming because I didn't really film much here. But yeah, I did really enjoy uploading it. So hopefully you guys will like watching it as well. Again, all the feedback in general over the last few days has been amazing. So thank you all so much for that. It honestly does make my day amazing. And hopefully it can just bring a bit of bit positivity, just a bit of light to your day as well. That's all I'm doing this for. And I'll tell you what, I'm loving it. I actually had loads of people messaging me the other day saying, Matt, why am I not on your wall? And the truth is, you probably are. Like, a lot of my friends that are on my wall back home in Manchester. Remember, this one's quite outdated, which is why there's loads of, like, old photos on there um, from, like, 2018, that sort of thing. So my updated one, that's that's at home in Manchester. I do much prefer that one. Although I did take it down recently, um, so I'm going to have to put it back up soon. But when I do put it back up, I'll be able to, I'll be able to print loads more photos and that sort of thing. But anyway, so if you did like the LA vlog, then let me know, because I do still have my footage from like five other days. I don't know why I haven't uploaded it before, you know, it's just one of them that I sort of kept to myself. But I'm happily, happily willing to share it, because it was something that was really important to me, and we had a good fucking laugh while we did it, so let me know. I spoke about Brandon the other day. Um, I'm gonna speak about Charlie quickly. Charlie's like one of my OG, long time best friends. Same with Ram, brilliant mate of mine. Anyway, so he's like a sick photographer. Like he does all the Instagram photos for like Simon and shit. Like he's really fucking cool. And the other night he took some photos of the stars and for people that don't know, stars, astronomy, the universe, that is my favorite topic in school. That's my favorite topic in general. I love space, I love things like aliens and um, planets and galaxies and shit like that. So I really love it. Anyway, so an old hobby of mine used to be doing nighttime photography. So I gave it a go. It's the first time in probably about over a, maybe a year and a half that I've done it and this is what I came out with so I think they're actually not too bad I was quite happy with these to be fair um so yeah so go follow Charlie as well his photography is amazing but I do want to get back into photography because I do really miss it it was like such a big hobby of mine back in the day and I used to really enjoy it and now since I work a lot I don't really get a chance to do it but while I'm home I might give it a go again right so I'm just watching Jacob's new video and I get a call of him yeah it's not good you need to see this so I thought he was just having a, you know, just shaving his beard or whatever with George's razor. Turns out, no, he's literally shaved off his head. Oh my Christ. <laughs> Why? Did you just get carried away? Yeah, it's too hot. <laughs> Did you get bored? Yeah. 
Oh no. Alright, hang on. Let me grab my razor. I'll do mine as well. No, you won't. <laughs> ah. Yeah, the lighting in my room isn't very good, so this will do. So I was chatting to my friend Ethan earlier, and me, Jacob, and George went to Ethan's birthday party a couple weeks ago. It was a good laugh. Um, anyway, she's been a good mate of Jacob's for years and years, and he sort of I met him through Jacob, and we've just become good mates over the last year or so. And he's a good lad, he's a real nice lad. And he sent me something earlier, and he was just like, "This fits perfectly into your sort of things, your videos, and whatever." So I'm gonna put the video to play in a second, and I really like it. So have a look. A bar of iron costs five pound. Made into horseshoe is twelve pound. Made into needles is three and a half thousand. Made into balance springs for watches is three hundred thousand. Your own value is determined on what you are able to make of yourself. Think big, work smart. If that doesn't just blow your mind, then I don't know what will. Obviously, I'm big on motivation and positivity and kindness and all that sort of stuff. You know, as you guys do, and seeing them sort of videos even reminds me of like things that you can just forget about. The thing you see a lot of days now is people having a lot of self-doubt, not believing in themselves, thinking they're worthless and that sort of thing. And it's one of the things that really gets to me. My New Year's resolution this year was to stop saying the word hate and to stop saying hate for so many things. But if there's something that I do hate, how much, including myself, people don't believe in themselves, how much disbelief people have, and that's completely fair because it's normal to have that sort of thing about yourself, especially when things don't go right, things go wrong, whatever. But having that doubt over yourself honestly ruins everything. And I can honestly, can say that from my own experience and I know you definitely can as well. When you believe in yourself, when you're confident, the things you can achieve are on a different level. But when you don't believe in yourself, when you're struggling, when you have that lack of motivation, that lack of belief in yourself, the way that I always try to look at things is whenever a situation's happening, even coming from someone who does think quite negatively about stuff, I still like to just stop and think, right, okay, I can do this. Matt, you've been through worse before, you can do this. It's even just going out when you're feeling anxious or feeling low, just stop and think to myself, right, take a deep breath. Matt, you've done it before, you've been through worse, you've had darker days than this, this is just a small speed bump on your whole journey of life, you can do this. And I suggest you do the same as well, because honestly, doubt kills far more dreams than failure ever will. And I'm never gonna forget that quote. Hey yo! So if you haven't seen at the moment, the new trend for social media for this week is house party. Now I haven't used house party since I was like in like year 10, year 11, but it is actually a really good app. It's like doing group FaceTime, even though you can do group FaceTime and no one seems to realize it. Um, but it's really good just for chatting for your mates and shit. Me and my YouTube mates do it all the time. So it's a real good way of staying together. So if you haven't used it during this epidemic, this lockdown, I'd really recommend doing it. But you won't have friends as good as mine, so it won't be as good as my experience. There we are, that's better. See, Mom, I do have friends. I'm going to show you guys how to make a vlog for code. I'm right there. Yay! He sold it. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. That is why me and George are friends. Okay, I have to warn you, there's been an update with Jacob and it's not good. Mate, it's the best decision of my life. Was it your best decision ever, yeah? Yeah. Oh you know, dear God, let's have a look. Oh Christ. Oh my God, you got that board. <laughs> you got that fucking board. <laughs> the girls are loving it, mate. So... The girls are loving it. <laughs>